there's, there's some sounds on keyboards and organs that you probably don't use very much. They're called synth pad and lead. They're in the section here. Uh, actually, push others and go to lead and synth pad. And those are the, they're the kind of the spacey, new age sounds that you hear a lot in music, but I'll bet as organists and musicians that you don't use them very much. So what we want to do is, and I'm not going to do this to the extent that we did on Wednesday, but I want to talk to you a little bit about finding sounds. Now you're playing on a keyboard, right? An organ. So you all have sounds that maybe you haven't explored. Can you say that you've tried all of your sounds? I can honestly say I don't think I have. On and I just got a new 90 SL at home, um, and I I know I haven't experimented with all of them. So Wednesday I synth sound synthesizer. It's a sound that does not imitate an instrument. Okay, they're synth synthetic or artificial sounds that somebody made up. The first synthesizer was, on an organ anyway, was a Wurlitzer. Moog also made them. Remember the Moog synthesizer? Well, in the Pro Division, that was the first synthesizer. In the organs, the Wurlitzer made one called the Orbit. And it was a little tiny keyboard, third keyboard, up on the right side up here. Had little short keys. And when you pushed the key, it went like a, a cat that had their tail stepped on. All right, so when you push these and you listen, this is what you get. So there's sounds, there's no instrument that you blow into or play or anything that sounds like that. So that's why they call them lead and pad and synthesizers, okay? So the synthesizer is a kind of a, this kind of sound. Let's, let's put it on now. Kind of like, uh, this one was used in the, in Disney's um, Electric Light Parade, that was the, the first use on a popular song that I know of, of, of a total synthesizer song. Totally synthetic whatever sound. All right, pad means kind of like this. Uh, let's go back here to the pad. Kind of like, how would you describe that? Kind of spacey. Yeah, it's kind of, um, Arthurial, what's the word? Ethereal. Ethereal. Yeah, it's like kind of like Cheerios, you know, I had some ethereal <laughs> breakfast. It's, it's, it's kind of spacey, That's I think that's the best word. So if you listen to anything that says pad, see it just kind of moves in there, okay? And lead, the lead, the buzz. It's kind of a buzzy Alright, so if you see synth lead, chances are you're going to hear the buzz and you're going to hear the wah like the cat. Hear it? Alright, so now you just got to figure out what to do with it. So that's kind of where we want to take you today. I want you to think about playing with instruments you haven't touched yet. And for, and I think to start, there's, there's two rules, all right? If you go to the others on any of, any of the keyboards and find the synth department, all right? On the R, um, there's, if, if you have a small window, there's, they're all grouped together, all right? On the S, they're all in the synth department, all right? So you just push it, and you go to the synthesizer lead pad, 
and there they'll be. But I would like you not to put them on the upper manual to start with. Let's see what happens when you put them with the cords. All right, now, which is kind of interesting because most of the time when I went to, when I played with the sounds and there was one that I didn't really like or understand, I always tried to put them in the upper manual. But a lot of the synth sounds sound really cool if you put them in the chord. So let's listen. All of the pad, all the synth lead sounds sound really good with more than one note. Thank you. 